showing you here the 48 volt to 12 volt hybrid system by Safari that we've supplied. Three 48 volt batteries. Each of these are equivalent to 200 amp hours at 12 volts. And uh, you can see these robust connectors here. In fact, these batteries route the power in and out to the battery of the lowest state of charge. These batteries are about three quarter charged at the moment. And we've got those connected um, through to a 3000 watt inverter charger. Uh, we've got a 1000 watt solar controller here. Uh, we've got this device here, which is called the Venus. And this is the hybrid. This is the 48 volt to 12 volt uh, step down transformer. You can see it on the front there. And that's putting out 30 amps. And that 30 amps is going into the existing battery here. We're leaving the BM Pro in place. No change to that at all. We're monitoring everything on the Cymarine. And right now we're running this Truma air conditioner up here. Um, you can hear it. We're running it off the system. And let's have a look. All you need is a smartphone. And on the smartphone, uh, you'll see exactly what's happening. So at the moment, the aircon is pulling 1,029 watts. Uh, the solar at the moment, we've got a bit of shade on it. We're on the side of the building here, it's 241. And the batteries are pulling out here on the left-hand side. Um, the system here will run that aircon comfortably for 10 to 11 hours. And that just drops into the Avita. We do not disturb at all the existing 12 volt system. We just layer it straight on the top and uh, that will then give you huge additional capacity. How good's that? Just looking at the Cy Marine here monitoring the 48 volt system. Uh, we've got the aircon on here at the moment and uh, we've got the fridge and a few other loads on here. But 48 volts uh, coming in here, we're putting out 22 amps in current. Uh, we've got everything turned on in the van at the moment. And uh, we've got the Avita battery. Uh, we're showing our tanks, grey water tanks filling up and uh, we've got LPG tanks uh, empty at the moment until we put full ones in and then we've got the galley temperature in here. Um, how good's that? We're just looking at the uh, 1000 watts of solar that we've just put up on this Avita van. Uh, it already had um, an existing panel and so we've, uh, we've uh, meshed in with it. Um, it had a poly panel, we kept it and uh, we've just now gone in with the rest of these. Now this is all done with the uh, triple insulate underneath and it's bonded. So there's absolutely no penetrations. Um, this is all the last panel and all the junctions underneath it. Um, and we're using our triple insulated uh, polycarbonate here with the Victron solar panels uh, screwed down on it. Let's have a look. I'm just about to put this one down. You can see the runs of uh, Sicker that we've got running on the back of the panel here. You see how we've screwed it into the back. But just look how neat that is when it's uh, screwed down and there's absolutely zero penetration. We're just using the original penetration from the roof. So there's no penetration, no other mounts up here. Uh, gives an R3 factor for the customer as well as um, uh, a really, really maximum finish.